Lord. Tonight I have Sister Bassi Peace. And the Lord indeed delivered her, even in this particular program. Let's hear our testimony. This particular program. This ongoing program. The Lord. Church pray. I'm Peace Bassi by name. I'm from Ikorodu and Ode. I'm from Ode Ikorodu, Lagos, Nigeria. I want to for how God touched me yesterday. One of our pastor, salvation was kind of difficult for me right from childhood. From children's church, we all know the usual practice: you want to give your life to Christ, raise up your hand. It has been very difficult today when the man of God prayed the interruption prayer. God really interrupted my life, and I, it just dawned on me. Even during the ministration, it dawned on me when he when he when he prayed and when he when he when he said a word that dawned on me like peace. This is what they have been looking for in your life. This is what they have been trying to. This this is what God wants to use to raise up your life. And I was like, God, I thank you for this. And during the altar call, I rose up for the altar call. And also, I bless the name of the Lord because God saved me. The, um, the quiet time has been very difficult for me. Every time my dad will ask, please have it on your quiet time. My answer will be no because I don't still understand what salvation is. But that yesterday, the Lord touched me. And this morning, I, I was surprised. I woke up myself. I I did my quiet time. It has been so, it has, it was fantastic. I really bless the name of the Lord. It killed me of cough because last week before coming to the camp, I had cough and it was kind of intense in the night. Sleep. I was coughing, even my mom was tired of it. She was like, I'm going to take local drugs because she does not know what to do again. And I really bless the name of the Lord because when I came to the camp, though I was still feeling it, but it was kind of subsided. Then I told it to Jesus. I said, God, come and touch every part touch every area of my life, my academic, my physical, my spiritual, my moral life, every area of my life, just come and touch. The cough went away. I couldn't feel the symptoms of the cough that I usually have again. And I really bless him. Touch me, even in this impact program, he has impacted into my life. And I know what I've gotten through this program. Praise the Lord! Elusive peace has now become effective peace from the plains of peace cough disturbing her peace are all gone receive your own peace in the name of jesus the next testifier praise the lord tonight i have oyedu mary She's been having a challenge for the past 14 years. Let's hear her testimony. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. I have to thank God for all my life, for taking me away from this bed waiting. I've been bed waiting for 14 years now. At the last crusade, I received my healing. At the great miracle explosion, it was too hard for me because I'm among the choristers. My parents does not allow me to sing, but my parents need to call a sister from a chorister to be monitoring me. So the thing was very hard for me. I just keep praying. I just keep praying. Even even the sister gone. The day. I was just praying. I can't sleep. I can't do that. The first day, I tell myself I did not bed rest. The second day, the third day, the fourth day, I said, Oh God, you are so good. Shout I know the Lord will do it for Lord. me today. will do it for you too. Hallelujah. 14 years, I'm gone. Whatever be the number of years of your own, tonight it has gone. I say it has gone. I say it has gone. You want to listen to more? There is a very interesting one that I told you the power cannot be restricted all over the world. Yes, on the social media, can we? Yes, there are spectacular testimonies on the social media. 
as indeed miracles are taking over mediocrity. And before we celebrate, we are celebrating. For there is a celebration of divine interruption from yesterday. Hallelujah. I tell you, it is a divine interruption. Because the kidnappers were divinely interrupted. This brother, Mbado, from the uh, our church in Douala, Cameroon, he attended the impact program yesterday. According to him, he met an old man who asked for directions to a particular Innocently, he helped the man, but he was deceived, and um, he, he was taken into a waiting vehicle where the other gang members were. They attacked him, they took him, and he was taken far away. When they got to, the, uh, to their destination, they told him that he had to release the contact of his parents so they can make calls to get money to be able to free him. Or they will kill him, bring out his part to sell. He pleaded with them. He begged them. And so they searched his pocket and they found the ambience of the impact program. As they saw this, one of the gang members got so touched and called his colleagues and said, it's time to let this boy go. Hallelujah. He was released at 10.45 p.m. last night. No ransom, no injury. He is free. A divine interruption indeed. And the Lord is still doing wonders. Where we have this from Kogi State, we find money coming from Kogi State from someone named Peace. She wrote, Ulsa P in my upper abdomen for several years. But that mediocrity of an ulcer has been replaced by miracle. Ulcer has disappeared. After the prayer of the man of God, she wrote, I tested myself. I to my surprise, to my surprise. pain is no more. Praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you are going to go, go to sleep tonight. Some of you, you... <laughs> Hallelujah. Because there are testimonies you will hear. Hunger will disappear. But before then, let, 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 let the choir, let these people give us sonorous song. I was told there are just so many there. There are so many there. Life miracles. Miracles today. Miracles real. Orchestra. Oh, let's thank our God. And as they are doing it, check your body. Because I know you still have the miracle there. At this row, here, yours is there. There, in this row, yours is there. Pick it. Come out. Tell it. Of the power of God. Yeah.
Alléluia. Don't hide. This is real. Miracles. And there are so many. So many even in real care. But just give us the patience of so that you will re see it is real. Online miracles now. More miracles happening online. I will take you to a social media again where we have Ajibo de Ruth who sent in these testimonies that after the prayer of the man of God, she's been having initially struggles with her studies. She couldn't focus and she's been having problems. But after the prayer of the spirit of boldness, she has confidence to face all the challenges she can now go because she has received an impact. Praise the Lord. From River State comes Adini Desmond Alf Alpha. He wrote, I have had left ear pain. In fact, my left ear was blocked for over a month. Struggled with the pain and discomfort it brings me. But I laid my hands there by faith as the man of God prayed to my The pain disappeared, my ear opened, and I am completely whole. Praise the Lord. The next one, she began with a song. She wrote, Magnet, exalt the name of Jesus. Please praise the Lord. Her name, Ade Doni, and she sent this in on our social media. She said, I have been unwell for many very uncomfortable, not actually knowing exactly except that I had sore throats, heaviness around my chest, headaches, general body weaknesses, and it continued to grow worse. I was to go to school, but I find out it grew worse and didn't know what to do. The more I resisted, the more tired and weak I became. But miracles came to interrupt that mediocrity. After the man of God prayed that every symptom completely disappeared and she has found strength praise the lord and now we have this coming from bro moses ogeodo from the palabra church Asia region in a boy state nigeria he says i want to thank god for delivering me from pain headache it's been happening i feel it within my forehead and the corner of my eye so this problem has lasted for a long time and goes with medication but after the interruption prayer that all the pains disappeared and now i feel well like never before now we have additional testimonies coming in from ajibo de ruth which we took the other time she says she's been having itches for on her leg before the prayer but after the prayer of the man of god she just discovered that the itches stopped and now she is completely healed. Let's take you to the United States of America. Jedida wrote for having what I could only describe my neck and physically manifested time and time again. I've been trusting God to take it away. But as we went through the global crusade and the man of God began to pray, at the beginning, it grew worse. Strange headache came up. It will be worse. But the power of God came after that final amen. Like a thundery bolt. All the symptoms disappeared. And now I have received. Staying in the United States of America comes Ruth Olujobi, who wrote, I thank God for my life. The Lord set me free from all the pain in my body. Praise the Lord. So, um, the United Arab Emirates, all the way from Dubai, we have Lionel who says that for the past few days, he's been having sharp pains right below his chest and, and in his abdomen at night after the prayer of the man of God. He, he said the lady's hand where it was where, 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 when, where, when the pastor asked us to do that and tonight he received his healing 
he is free from all the pains, he is made whole. Praise the Lord. Together for Jesus. Jam it very well. Clap it very well. It's wonderful. Your miracle is there. Your miracle is there. If there is no imitation to the anointing and to the blessing of God, of you who see the man of God face to face and you get connected with him by faith and get who says you will not receive your own? I know there still reside miracles there. Come up, jump out. The ones you are big, let us hear you. And God is blessing you abundantly. Yes, from the physical location. More testimonies. Clap for Jesus as we are waiting for that. It is great to be receiving and blessing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have here with me Sister Blessing Onyekwelu. She has in her breast, and medically, that is something very, very serious. But let's hear what has done for her. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! My name is Sister Blessing Onyekwelu. Last year, by the grace of God, I'm born again. Last year, in November, I went to Lagos. To so she said, she consulted her doctor. She said, bless me. So she, the doctor brought every all their equipment. So they diagnosed me of lumps in the breast. So after that, gave me rules and regulations. I said, is it paining me? I said, not, it's not paining me. He said, OK. When you want to sleep, sleep face up. Don't lie with your chest. I should just sleep face up. So the instruction, I could not follow the instruction. Sometimes I'll find myself sleeping face down. So the problem is that feeling the pain. But yes, yesterday night, the interruption happened. My blessing. When after the we should lay our hands on where the problem is. My hands there, I was still feeling the pain. But after the prayer, the pain was home because I didn't come. I decided, I suddenly, the problem, the pain disappeared. Pray! Divine interruption. It's an ongoing. You cannot miss it in the name of Jesus. I know you want to eat tonight. Let those who are going to serve us go to the park in preparation for, for this, my brethren. I know you won't be hungry. Amen. All servers go to preparation to feed our people after they have been fed with the word of God. More miracles from the Alpha locations. It's still happening in the camp there. Unto everyone, let us listen to her. Praise the Lord. Here with me, Sister Finifolua Shotomi. She's been having a condition that indeed is quite uh, pitiful, embarrassing. But the Lord met with her. The Lord performed the miracle after the prayer in the Lord. Let's hear her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is. I've been having a condition of bed. I knew I was. I was. A, so it's so so painful. In bed, out every day, outside, and washing clothes. It was a problem to me because even in the last youth success camp, I was thinking I was in. I bedwetted, I was like, and I 
stay that week, so I will not bed rest. But two hours, and I bed rested. It was so painful. I prayed, I fasted, even our family prayed, and we fasted, but nothing happened. Then after the edition of the Global Crusade, I determined that this thing must stop. So I noticed that after the program, there was no But on December 6th, the devil came again to make me scared. It made me bed dead. So December, December 7th, when I went outside that night, I my spirit knew I prayed. I prayed like never before. And since that day till today, bedwetting is gone and forever gone in Jesus' name. Years of shame ended abruptly. Jam your hand for Jesus. Everyone says striking. Can I give a testimony? Striking miracle. Beyond all the way from America. Listen. Connected for your own. Online. We are set to take you to the United States of America for this testimony. USA Live. Wow. Praise the Lord. My name is Ruth Olujabi and I attend the Power Bible Church here in the US. I have been having leg aches for many years but very severe about four months ago and if I in mean school when I am in classes it's hard for me to concentrate I have to be kicking out my legs I have to be stomping my foot on the ground so much I have been seeing doctors going for hospital checkups doing scans so many things and the thing is the doctors kept on saying they couldn't see anything if I run my legs will ache if I my leg will ache and in fact they started aching to a point where there were two like lumps on my legs that I started feeling and anytime my legs began to ache those lumps but then tonight I said I was going to get my healing and I placed my leg and I said this pain would go and by the time pastor finished praying I placed my hands to where those lumps used to be and I was shocked I began to look for it like I, I was oh my god I just want to bless God for this healing and pray that this healing will be permanent I know that what he has done for me he will do for anyone looking up to him to praise the Lord what's the best of medical science could not cure of the Lord cure it and it disappear and everybody jump your hand for Jesus now back to the physical look anointing breaks the yoke praise the Lord I have with me Master Dara Mola Caleb. Since 2019, is what's medical or term as psychosomatic condition. But after the prayer of the man of God, the Lord delivered out. By the Caleb, I've been saved by grace. I gave my life to Jesus during the last crusade, the great miracle as and to God over a sickness 2019. I don't know but I've been having a strange feeling internally that has been disturbing me my head or I should always pour in water on my head. Am I before I graduated to youth? My children teacher, she ask, always asks me why I always, I always pour water on my head. But I will not tell her anything. I only so it's only my mommy that knows about it. So when even all my teachers in my former location, she used to say I don't used to tell her. 
I only laugh about. We came for global miracle, miracle creation. God for salvation of my soul, and by the grace of God, I've given my life to Jesus, and I ask for assurance of salvation. And during the last Monday Bible study, that was on the third January. Pastor talked upon he has done all things well, and out of the seven points, he mentioned the first one he mentioned was he has cured the most incurable, and I grabbed it and said, Lord, this is for me, and by the grace of God, it has gone. I was supposed to give this testimony yesterday, but I wanted to be sure if it has gone. And actually, I've not seen anything like that before. Praise the Lord. Put your hand for Jesus. Desire. Say, let me test it. Let me prove it. And it has been proven. Q-E-D. Jesus did it. Your own is there. You will the choir, the orchestra, we praise the Lord. And we will rise up then and thank the Lord. There are still multitudes over there. And uh, as this program goes on, you will have opportunity to hear more and also testify about your own. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. I have Mr. Chukwemeka Julius. He wants to test saved him and gave him a new life. Let's hear his testimony. Praise the Lord. I am grateful to God because uh, I was almost destroyed by religious activities. And uh, I thank God for the last Wednesday. So when I came, after I came to realize that there is difference between Christianity and religion, one being in religion. Finally, I gave my life to Christ totally. Praise the Lord. Two, there is something that I've been suffering for many years. I've been mocked robbed, you know, laughed about it. And it was after the last day of the crusade that I saw a man standing on my side. And I was crying, pointing hand on a particular thing. So he now asked me, what is your problem? I said, I've been having this problem and I run to people, they, they wouldn't tell me or give me solution. He now asked me to, to off my clothes. I did. He showed me a tattoo at my back. I said, but I don't have tattoo. This is one of the things that I hate in my life. He said, this has been your problem. So on the process, he said, from now, I am taking this thing off you. And that is how he did. And I thank God from that, that day till now, there is a new joy that I received, that I, I have not have before. So I return all glory to God. Praise the Lord. Breaking news. Amen. Our Father, our Pastor, has provided some just meal for you tonight. Amen. So every one of us, we will stand up. You will say, our Father, we thank you. We love you. We will serve news to us. Thank you, Daddy. The Lord lend in your day. Yes. Amen. 
we are grateful, sir. Fair. Then, God bless you. So the orchestra, can we have you? So, while you are standing up, can we have our closing prayer?